Hi, this is Karen Dice from Mortgage Currency with the December 2011 Rule and Regulation Updates. Now, we just counted the number of articles that we wrote through Jan from January through December, and there were 259 of them that affected loan originators, processors, and underwriters. Had nothing to do with servicing or anything like that. You know what that means? It's an average of 22 per month or one per working day. You know what? I don't know about you, but it's enough to make my brain hurt. But before I talk about the rule and regulation changes this month, I just wanted to let you know that there are three mortgage talking points for you, four Facebook uh, posts, and four updated charts and checklists for you. Now, the big surprise this month was the USDA increasing their upfront guarantee fee on refinance loans. Now, just seven days before, they came out with all the guarantee fees, and then as of December 5th, they said, uh-oh, on December 7th, guess what? The fees for the refinances are going up from 1% to 1.5%, which even surprised the field offices. Now, this increase is supposed to happen, so the guarantees will alleviate the, uh, the guarantee fees will alleviate the shortage of refinance funds where they, you know, the USDA turns that spigot off and on all of the time. So, you know, let's see if that's going to solve the problem. And talking about dysfunctional regulators over the last few months. First, the FHA loan limits were the big news this last couple months. What a freaking mess. Loan limits were, were brought down from October 1st. To November 17th, effective for all case numbers during those two dates. Then on November 18th, they reverted back to the 2011 limits that were in effect during most of 2011. So you'll find the updated loan limits in the charts and checklists in the toolbar there. And by the way, Fannie and Freddie didn't change their loan limits at all except for one county in Connecticut. Okay, the VA funding fee fiasco. It's all over now, but what happened was VA changed their funding fee four times in the last 54 days, making everybody absolutely crazy. Now, it's not VA fault. fault. Blame it on Congress and their ability to pass legislation. Now, what you'll also find is an updated uh, VA funding fee chart, you know, right over there. Now, about the elephant in the room, HARP or Home Affordable Refinance Program. Now, Fannie held a conference call, which we were on to clear up some of the questions out there. But guess what? It raised more questions than they gave answers. But here's what we learned. There's not a whole lot of things that have changed other than eliminating the LTVs and lowering the loan level price adjustment fees. You know, that's the LLPAs are the good news because now it's going to cost people less to refinance, which will lower their loan amount. Many consumers, many loan originators are truly upset that they didn't change the date. And that's it's from June 1st, 2009. Loans had to be sold, not closed, to Fannie and Freddie by that particular date or the loan does not qualify. So, for those of you who took advantage of the HARP program before, including me, you can't do it a second time around either. Now, what we've heard is that many lenders who service their loans, who have correspondent divisions, are not going to roll it out to, to mortgage brokers and mortgage bankers. They're going to retain the HARP program and only for loans that they service. 